NASA uncovers new findings after spending seven years on the red planet. This is what the NASA rover images has given us. This is on Sputnik News. Now, this is a, a painting, an artist's rendering of the rover on Mars, obviously. And what's really astonishing is that the sky looks just like our Earth sky. And they've even uh, included clouds, some kind of a cloudy sky, puffy light clouds. Now, are there clouds over Mars? Are there, uh, is there waters, water over Mars in order to evaporate and create clouds like this, like we have on our Earth? That's a big question. Now, we have the 360 view of the Curiosity Mars rover, JPL, NASA images. Unfortunately, they do not include the sky for some reason. The sky is not included. We don't know why. They've blocked out the sky. Um, you can uh, direct the arrows in the direction you want to see, up or down. But again, as we said before, the sky is not included for some reason. Why is that? They say sky not imaged in this terrain mosaic. They've blocked it out. It could have been imaged very nicely if they just took away the black uh, blockage of the sky. We would see what's up there. Are there clouds? Are there not clouds? I'm not talking about the whole sky, but at least part of it. But anyway, uh, what we see here is the striation on some of these rocks. And they look like what we would see on Earth. Sedimentary rock, mud, mud being um, compressed in layers. And uh, that means that the uh, layers of sediment on the boulder-sized rocks, called Strafton here, looks very much like something settling by water, by mud. Very strange. So in a Monday press release, NASA announced their rover made monumental strides collecting information to give researchers a deeper understanding of the area of Mars called Aeolis Mons. It's a large clay region known as, the, as Mount Sharp. Mount Sharp located inside Gale Crater, which is said to have contained streams and lakes billions of years ago that altered the landscape there and left behind a large amount of clay minerals in the area. Before Curiosity's 2012 landing, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter spacecraft was able to identify the presence of clay on the Red Planet. They said, quote, this area is one of the reasons we came to Gale Crater. This is what research space scientist Kristen Bennett of the U.S. Geological Survey said in the release, quote, we've been studying orbiter images of this area for 10 years, and we're finally able to take a look up close, end quote. Bennett and Valerie Fox of Caltech are co-leads for Curiosity's clay unit campaign. They describe the initial area Curiosity encounters as kind of a parking lot full of gravel and pebbles and pointed to the possibility of more clay signals. Unable to drill into the rock, Curiosity, as of June 2019, has since departed the so-called parking lot and encountered what NASA describes as, quote, a more complex geological feature, end quote, of Mars. The interactive clip designed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, this is the images that we include here, allow Earth-bound individuals like us, of course, to get a 360-degree view of the Teal Ridge, which is an outcrop on the clay-bearing side of Mount Sharp. Also to Teal Ridge, in addition to that, the rover captured images of Strathton, a complex boulder-sized rock, also located on Mount Sharp. The wavy and brittle, rather than flat layers of the boulder, indicate to researchers that the 
immediate area around it once had either wind, flowing water, or both. Again, here we have parts of this beautiful image of the sedimentation. Strathton area blocked out for some reason. It would have been nice if we could have those black areas more of us more for us to see. But as you can see, it's really something, really a lot of sedimentation here. Amazing, amazing footage. Now, uh, they're saying we're seeing an evolution in the ancient lake environment recorded in these rocks. This is what Fox notes in the NASA press release, saying it wasn't just a static lake. It's helping us move from a simplistic view of Mars going from wet to dry. Instead of a linear, linear process, the history of water has more, was more complicated. Okay? And we see the mosaic of images showing the layers of sediment on boulder-sized rock called Strathton, as seen by the Mars hand lens imager, M-A-H-L-I, camera, carried by NASA's Curiosity rover. The images were taken July 10th, 2019, the 2462nd Martian day or sol of the mission. Now, Fox asserted that these recent images and new related theories about the Red Planet are like finding the pages to a dense book with pages torn out. And it's fascinating to piece all these things together. Back in June, Curiosity was also able to detect high levels of methane on Mars, and it confirms previous reports of the gas provided by both itself in 2013 and the European Space Agency's Mars Express mission that took place back in 2004. So if these readings are correct, they could be a major indication of possible geothermal activity or microbial life forms underneath the Martian surface. Up to now, Curiosity has traversed some 13 miles, that's 21 kilometers, and it ascended to uh, 1,207 feet on Mars, that's 368 meters. So this is fascinating. You can uh, use the arrows here on the top left-hand corner and uh, direct yourself wherever you want to go. And you can see a wonderful here, wonderful image of Teal Ridge, sedimentation, the gravel down there. And there's some very strange things uh, on the surface of that ridge. Amazing. It looks a lot like Earth, but we don't know what's happened there. Some people say that it could have been an ancient civilization that somehow destroyed itself with its own advanced technology through conflict, or it could have been some kind of a solar flare that uh, took away its atmosphere, as well as something happening to the uh, magnetic field of Mars, because it doesn't have a magnetic field whatsoever. And that, of course, does not protect it from any type of solar radiation. So I'll leave links below for you. You can also direct yourself to see what you want to see on the surface using this fantastic method. And again, I have no idea why they blocked out the sun, the sky, that is. Why shouldn't we be able to see the sky? That's very strange. As you can see here, sky not imaged in this, in this frame, in these frames, for some odd reason. I'll leave links below for you for this.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.